Gaito-san, I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I can think of. Thing is, I've still got two cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by without a second glance. Hey, Kaito-san, don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that. But we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted to, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fair enough. Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Classroom 2-2. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Whoa... Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. But nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah. And nobody notified us this school hired such gorgeous teachers. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. We're just here doing our job, man. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who, may I ask, called you here? It was the chairman who called us in. I had assumed all teachers were notified. Oh, the chairman. Well, I suppose I should leave it at that then, hmm? Well, when you say it like that... It... Did he make this appointment with you directly? Uh, yep, sure did. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for your business. Hmm, and I'm sure our chairman gave you his name? His name? Oh, well, uh, that would be... Okuda-san. How could I forget? Yes. Of course. I'm sorry for being so rude. Ah, oh, no problem at all, Teach. By the way, anyone ever tell you how stunning you are? I'd say you're just my type. My dream gal, even. What? <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. And we're done. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now.
the hell was that, Kaito-san? You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. What, so that makes me the bad guy? All right, all right. Back to work. I get it. This is Tsukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man. We just finished setting up the cameras. Good. So did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium? It's empty. It's I thought we might as well check the camera feed. Got it. Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Guess we'll have to watch and wait. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. Wrong as it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. What is it? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. Then again, 
Now they're picking on a girl. Whoa, did you see that? Oh, no, no, they're writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, Ta! Let's go kick the shit out of those pumps. No way I'm letting that slide. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? All right, can you hear me? They're already leaving the classroom. Hey, Who was this fancy? Why is nobody this helping her? What is it? It's like they now don't the even want to see it. It's the permanent mark of you. Let's go there, oh. Kasan. I want to see what happened fancy? with my own two eyes. All right, can you hear me? Very right, cool, my voice is going through now. Awesome. Find anything this quickly, though. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serial. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. Kinda sucks because I, I was totally like actually talking before this, but that's her. The girl we saw on camera. Let's get a little closer and see how she's doing. Suspicious. Hey, what the? Oh fuck, there was slut on her hand. Suspicious. That is... That is mean. What the? Hey. Oh shit, she just looked right at me. This is Tsukumo, paging Yagamichi. Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. Third floor. I must meet with the boss. Keep up, bro. You keeping up. <laughs> Say something, I'm giving up on you. I think it's working now. It might be picking up from my controller though, but Huh? You're that teacher. Our controller though. But... To what do we owe? Okay, no, I think it's picking up from my mic. All of these men are detectives? Yes. Yes. And I'd like you to keep their identities. All four of us. These gentlemen here are Yakimi san and Now she knows what we really do for work. I see. Maybe now he can get them Very digits because well he likes teachers. I've explained the situation to Sawa Sensei, our homeroom teacher in class 2 2. Why don't you both have a seat? She's in the basketball club, and so are all those kids surrounding her. 
wonder if that's where the bullying started. Sawa sensei, you mentioned noticing something was wrong? Well, only that Kodasan hasn't been herself lately. Suspend him. Expel him. So there's Pick also a the missing LR. teacher as well. But they haven't really talked about that that much. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For one thing, it would be quite problematic to use this video as evidence. Mm, true. The school can't just come out and say we've been recording your kids without consent. Yes, and let us bear in mind, they still have their whole lives ahead of them. We cannot Debatable, like they won't have their whole lives ahead of them if we arrest You're them You're not saying bullying. we should look the other way, are you? Hey, last night you said the total opposite, man. Exactly. If you intend to cover this up, Why are you let me up? just begin by saying... No one is suggesting we cover it up. Then we need to act okay, now. Okay. We have no idea how close to the edge Kodasan could be. She's not wrong. What if she does something drastic before tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, it's bullying. Um, so, like, pardon something me, could really happen. Bullying is rarely resolved by the victim and the perpetrator coming to a mutual agreement. Thus, a third party must intervene. I presume you read that in a book somewhere. <laughs> I can tell you from experience. It's funny because he's just been reading books on bullying since situation. they took this case. Like, he's just like me. Like, that's how he's been learning. Anyone. The other two dudes are like new to the bully child to come forth and seek help. And they like came so to us we, for help with this case. Are to intervene, we must consider the ramifications. Even so. No, I think the chairman's right. Making a big scene might only make things worse for Kodasan. Talk. That's not like you. Someone's drowning right in front of your eyes. And you're just gonna watch him sink? What I'm saying is, we have to put a stop to the bullying without getting the whole school involved. What started in that classroom will end in that classroom. Uh huh. I'm sorry, but did you say you were a detective? The name's Yagan. And you want to put a stop to the bullying like it's that easy? Tell me, where does all this confidence come from? Alright, alright, this is serious. Better not bungle my words. You think there's a real chance we could pull this off, yagami son? Of course. I do. Can you bring up that video again? Watch this. Sure. I got a, a plan. I think the secret to stopping the bullying is right here in this video. Really? And by all means, detective, enlighten us. All right, lady, she needs to stop trying me up. Exactly. Nope, she's got a point. You got to back all up. All right, right, stop it, you simp. What's this big secret you're talking about? Oh shit, I got All right, this footage solves everything. <laughs> Let's keep them guessing for a little bit. <laughs> if we spread this footage on the internet, it'll draw all kinds of criticism. Oh wait, that no, that, that wasn't the decision I was trying to make. Hold on. <laughs> I can't imagine. Cody. Did I hire to? Yo, you hear that talk? Yeah, you're telling. The, the, I didn't. The victim's not gonna speak up. It's those students sitting idly by. They're aware of the problem, but aren't doing anything to help. Well, yeah. There's adults do the same thing. And we should hold some sort of... Tr is that... Again, something and that would tell me. What I'm getting at is that it's the silent. On the surface, we only see students turning their eyes as one of their own gets tormented. They feign disinterest or pretend not to notice because remember, that's the safest thing to do. But deep down, it kills them to see it. Yeah. Yep. Oh shit. They care. They don't want so this to be happening. If you just express that, the pressure would then shift to the bullies. We have to tip the social balance in that classroom, become the voices of justice, of social law. Then, exactly. it's the bullies who become the outcasts. Let's, let's send in one of the new detective dudes the risk of bullying kid. if it meant social exile? Huh. Flip them all. I can see how you arrived there. Alright, so where do we come in? We come in by giving the bystanders a voice. We're gonna be the spark that lights a fire. 
After all, the first voice matters the most. Okay, so what's the plan here? Tsukumo, how fast can you get your hands on a couple of mini speakers? I want to put them in the classroom where they can't be seen. I can have them here momentarily, but I admit I don't really grasp the plan here. I don't blame you. I honestly can't say it'll work. It's alright if you don't get it, bro. It's just too big brain <laughs> for you. I see. In that case, I'll be back before school's out. Chairman? I don't know what these detectives are planning. I promise but it's I'll good. Tell you this right now. We just went over the plan. I refuse to stand idly by while a student gets pushed to the breaking point. Sit down. We literally just told you the plan. We're, we're, we're handling it. Do you Sleep remember what I up. told you about the student who committed suicide? That affected Sawa Sensei profoundly. Perhaps she blames herself for being unable to prevent it. Whatever the cause may be. I can see that. As the chairman of this school, I don't want to let her down. So please, <coughs> help her, Yakimi-san. Help us all. How's it coming along, Yagamishi? No complications, I presume? So far, so good. Do you have the speakers I gave you? Yep, and they're just what I needed. You're the man, Tsukumo. Heh. <laughs> How about we save the praise for after our plan works out? Anybody in the classroom right now? In class 2-2? Let me check. Hmm? Now that's odd. What's wrong? Well, that one's fine, but... There's something wrong with the camera in the classroom building. The one on the second floor by the stairs. Is it broken? No, still getting a signal. Something might be blocking the lens? All right. I'll check it out on the way. so that we can't see him doing shady stuff. How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. <laughs> uh, Yagamishi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! Uh -oh. See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perv finally notices, he goes back to fix it, and BAM! Caught in the air. Chill, Miss Tryhard. Just stay back. Hey, what is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying Fucking to shit. on us. Why couldn't the chairman oh, tell the wow, teachers what I'm doing? Sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed. I'm gonna just beat the fuck out of this teacher and the kid. <coughs> How is this better? <coughs> what the fuck? How is this better? Excuse the coffin, no we be smoking blunts. <laughs> Are you safe, Yagami? This is the last of my weed Seems though. Like you're in a bit of a pinch. I am in a bit of yeah, a pinch. Think? Someone help me. Down from here. <coughs> Damn, they saw me. <coughs> Why do you lock this door? now. Crap. 
walked away from my stream. Not even watching. It's okay. Yagamichi, you should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. <coughs> Say something. Don't panic, but the school just contacted security. For Several sure. guards are en route to your location. Great. Just what I needed. I can take some guards, especially some school security guards. You've been watching from this whole time. <coughs> I know, right? I found a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. Huh? You're that teacher. From here, awesome. use the drone as a guide and jump from that way toward need. the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. I can take some guards, especially some right. school seeker. Try not to die. All right. To get maximum distance. Is this our lane? Yeah, this is our lane. All right. Runners, ready. I forgot what button was jump. I bet it's X. Is it? I mean, that doesn't seem like it matters. Honestly, was I supposed to jump like right into the window? Hold on. Can I try again? Alright, I can't. Yagamichi, it looks like some of the guards have arrived. You think you can make it out of there? <sighs> I'll have to somehow. What? Even after all that? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? It'll be fine. Yes, bro. All I, I have to do is not get caught. Finish you know very mission. well I'm weak to flattery. <laughs> But for the glory of Yokohama 99, let's get the- Alright, let's go. Come on, bro, that's not even mine. Her name. Alright, let's go. Like I said, I should be- Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay? Got it. Yeah, go with your friends. See now. What class? Two two. I'm on the third floor. Damn, not happening. And this was the shortest route to class two two. And I think Yagamishi. It seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Yeah. No sense. Let's check out the rooftop. Uh -huh. The hell? Another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that. Oh shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? One. I can take them. Just one. Just one. Well, in that case. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. You mean this? It's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really gonna work? Now, now. Don't doubt the magician. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> oh, damn. It worked like a charm. <laughs> what did I tell you? But, Yagamishi, that only works once. You'll have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah.
Yeah, why are there so many kids on the roof? What the fuck? What? Where did he come from? Just ask me if I want to edit the difficulty. I'm not, I'm not even dying in combat. What is this? Let's go up instead. Oh, I can. That's how I got caught that first time. This looks creepy as fuck. Let's get out of here. The landing where you were accused. Do you have any idea how? I'll take a look. There's no sign of that sharp girl who. Oh. There is one guard posted. Yeah. He's. the powder first. How do I exit this? store. Okay, I'm in class 2-2. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, thanks to you. Well, better set up those speakers while I can. Good luck. Tsukumo. Oh, uh, testing. Perfect. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Does this mean you're set up? Yeah. Huh? 
Oh, no, you don't. You stay your ass right there. Go get Yakun and the boys. Yo, want it again? They've been looking all up. Could have sworn I saw you earlier. Oh, you're the guy I'd say it's time. Don't lose heart, Yagamichi. Right. Look, who the fuck are you and why? That is rugby friends. I didn't take them. No way. <clears throat> oh yeah. Sick. I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. What's wrong with this kid? Whoa. He looks like he's been held back. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at. I'm gonna hit y'all with that snake. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. What? Holy shit! What? Oh, yeah. Crap! Don't let him go! Get off me! I used to play rugby too, bro. You don't want it. This is my ball now. All right, you got me back. I guess he's more than just your average creeper. <laughs> I'm still, bro. They still want it after they just saw me do that. You can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? I don't. No, can't have that. Only one way out there. Come on. Bring it. Ah! Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scarce. Unfortunately, you're on your own from here. The three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? I got it.
Auto safe on block.
Ooh, Sonic is fast. She has a hammer. I call this move the march of times. Oh, I need to. Let's break all of her blocks first. The march of times. Let's see if we can beat the sparrow this time.
用しますよくね次はどこを狙いますかどうしますうまく狙えましたか強いか自動で動きます What the fuck is this game? I grabbed it perfectly No, I didn't fuck I First try, first try. And you're in, you're in, you're. What the fuck? Shake the machine, bro. Shake the machine, bro.
<laughs> oh man, you almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. Almost, There's no way almost. I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah. If everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Man, I'm tired of sleeping on the couch. I want to go back to my office and sleep in my bed. Yo, so are you gonna come out to lunch with us or what? Huh? Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. They just come came on. in and chose Mateen's violence. Mateen's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <sighs> we told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough! Get your ass up! What's the fucking holdup, Koda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. I'm so slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. <laughs> Hey, who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys <laughs> Poor talking about bro, us? I... You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Oh, man. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. No one's talking. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? <laughs> if you wanna talk shit, say it to my Oh, man, we're about to get these kids beat up. Oh, he's looking dead at him. Yeah. You know what, guys? It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? 
Yeah, Kuda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Kodasan already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys going to lunch, go choke on a chopstick. Oh, <laughs> how does it feel now? Just get going. Go choke on a chopstick. Yeah. Toss them out. What's going on here? What's Fuck this. He's scared. Let's just go. Fuck it. Wow. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was going on in there now. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happening right in front of you is wrong. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just yes. psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One, if no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. <laughs> Penguins are the same way. You ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. <laughs> oh man, her her days being bleed her over. We out here making a difference. The first penguin. Ooh. Who's the second penguin? What do you say we monitor the situation for now? My I suppose your plan. But it should be teachers and administrators handling. You know what? I couldn't agree more. Exactly. Get me out of here. Excuse me. I gotta get back to our murder case. Oh, come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. Come on, bro. You know You're just thinks? a simp. She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle <laughs> exactly. in affairs. Exactly. We aren't bums. Well, then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. <clears throat> Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. How much you got to us? I wouldn't go that far. This is a private answer. school. Like, everyone yeah, around, me. you guys got I five you floors. Deliver. You guys got a lot of money. <laughs> We're about to get, we're about to get, we're about to go out and have a party, cause... General Mlamas. Sorry, oh, I have to take this. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry mm. son, uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I can take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kawacha right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. I'm just telling all our business. Uh, sorry, son? You there? Serio High? Somewhere near Ichincho? Oh, Is I bet it's about school? the missing teacher. Hmm? Have you heard of it? A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about it two is. months ago. It was all very sudden. Uh-oh. Huh. 
Looks like we're staying I think in I Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi. He himself was a Seiryu High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba, and his body was discovered a few days ago. They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. Huh? The body was oh shit, completely. that was him. The Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? Thing is, Come on, guys, this is important. Knew Mikoshiba was dead <clears throat> before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ahara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. So if I have this right, he has an alibi for the murder? Right. But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. But whoever that is, is somehow connected to Ahara. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ahara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ehara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seiryo High at the time. And the way Ehara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. But groping as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been a better way than that. I'm worried. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this. Which means I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder. Because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. Alright. Well... What can I do for you? Can you see if anyone at Seiryu High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> no better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. Ijincho, Yokohama, a harbor town where rotting secrets rarely stay uncovered. The deceased was a student teacher who had vanished from a high school Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case, a police officer named Ohara, was arrested for a different crime, a train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ohara gave the court an ominous revelation that the son he had lost was avenged. Before I go all in, 
Can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ahara. Age 53. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku. Lived alone? His I married the them? Toshiro and the couple never... Apparently, that's it for personal. All right. As for the charge, Ahara's maintained his innocence. Mind you, the prosecution is... The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes. Although some of it was edited for privacy or length. But it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? Ahara flew off the handle or something? Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Your Honor. In a warehouse. About three days ago. A body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. For Ahara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son. And to get his justice, he even took Seiryu high to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming the... I still Sounds like I'm on deck, then. I've got someone involved in Who? the... The chairman of... Are you? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagam-san. But let me... I'm listening. A... Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet. So please don't go around talking about it. Especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough. And if they find out, everyone already knows. <sighs> They'd show us the door, lock it behind. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you this... What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially... If we don't make our move... And once his case is closed... Right. Would... I'm sorry to give you a time limit. Don't worry. Thanks. I'll... Yo. Sorry. Actually, Kaito... Hmm? You sure can. Remember how you told me about his... Oh, uh... This is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? I'd like to ask a bit about him, in relation to a separate... In what? What is it? I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective-client privilege. <sighs> I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any... But don't you see? I promise. I'll tell you everything I can when I can. I'll start with the basics. That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks. It was as if all was... Well, or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No. We... Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor of you? However, the court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? Well, the tragedy from... Yet I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire potentially even out of pocket? Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy... That's fair. I'm not sure I follow. Could this be what riled you up? But... but this is... This is footage of Akihiro Ihara two months ago, captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer, so of course it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all, he's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's... Uh... Undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, 
Any more problems at <sighs> The police would dig up that suicide in no time. They might even reach the conclusion. I get the feeling that's why we're really here. To prevent another Oh, I see now. Our job's to sniff out any bullying. Then you... That's something. simply not true. At you least sure about that? that? Wasn't... The thought never even... Perhaps every time I saw Yahara-san on TV... I can assure you, Chairman... In that case... Her. Great. See? Oh, I told you we should have stayed... How was I supposed to um, know? So... No, thanks. Would you, in that case, you Perfect. may want to go to... Sorry, Kaito-san, but I'm feeling... I You're don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. I'm sorry, did you need something, sir? Oh, uh, is Sawa-sensei here? She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one's special, really. I just need to have a quick word with her is all. Maybe you could tell- It's right over there. Thank you. Suspicious. Hey. What are you doing here? Yes. Such as? Such as how close you were to Hiromika what? Shiva. I heard from Chairman Okuda you were mentoring him as a teacher. I believe this was two months ago? Why do you of all people want to know? Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I, uh, is that really I said that's all. You know what, let's start. You were already a teacher here by then. Mm -hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how Miko Shiba-kun's name came up as well. Yes, but... So he wasn't involved? I teach it, and during... Is not the... I would say why you're would... asking... Four years... You mean a hard... Well... Yes, but... I believe... Let uh, me ask you By all something. means. What are you trying... If that wasn't... You should have had the sense to leave Believe alone. me, once... In that case... You've already got everything you need from me. Uh, one last question. Anyone in particular? Uh, the kids in Mikoshiba Ku Basketball club. Yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. All right. Uh, just... Kaito-san, you there? Why? You said me yeah, talk you like that. You enjoy playing teacher's pet with Sawa-san? You mean, did I enjoy getting eviscerated by her? 
That aside, I did get some interesting intel. And that's where you huh? come. I want to find those bullies. <laughs> so I do have. Thanks.